Good morning guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Pikmin 2! Yesterday, I came to the realization, or rather, the game forced me to come to the realization, that I've been taking too many risks. I've been losing Pikmin left and right, I have been getting new variants of Pikmin and not spending an excess day afterwards building up their numbers, and I lost Olimar in combat. He fell in battle. Yesterday, in the shower room. So, I decided to take a day off today. Coincidentally, it is actually Sunday in-game. It isn't when I'm recording it, but it is Sunday in-game. It's day eight, first day of the next week. And so I'm going to take a day off and focus on the above-ground elements of the perplexing pool. So far, we've been going into cave day after day after day and kind of ignoring a lot of the uh, the elements above ground. Also, I accidentally skipped that. Eh, whatever. Okay, so today, like I said, above ground. I'm going to be taking a troop of yellow Pikmin over here because there's a treasure right there that requires yellows. And while I'm there, I'm going to be getting the uh, blistering spider wart, knocking that out, and start collecting berries since I am completely out of sprays. And, I, and so I need sprays. And then, the other captain is going to be taking a troop of blues and whites to this area behind the base, where there are a couple buried treasures. And then, from there on out, it's just going to be building up numbers, maybe getting an above-ground treasure over this way. But, uh, yeah, we're not going into any caves, even though there is a cave right there. That is an upside-down smiley face. But we're not going to be going into it. Alright, sound good? Well, let's start. Grab some yellows. 50, I think, should do. Yeah, 50 is a good number. And just to, for the record, I need to build up reds and yellows. Blues are fine. They're above 100. Substantially so. But reds and yellows are, are kind of suffering. Okay, so I'll take a group over this way and get them working on stuff. Oh, hello. Okay, there are some... There are some, uh, not sure grubs. Um, what are they called? Ah, I forgot what they're called. That's fine. Future Pal, you got me. I've already said their name once, and I know their name. It's just escaping me right now. Alright, so I'll take these over here, get them started on the, the spider wart, which is back. Okay. I think, actually, the, the spider wart and... I said it earlier, but I'm pretty sure the spider wart and the, the berry plants share the same name. Because they're technically the same. I don't know. I don't know about that one. But I'm pretty sure the berry plants don't have an official name. Okay, if, if the... If those respawn, then... Yep, yeah, he's he's back too. Hey, come here. No, get over here. Get over... There you go. You can die, please. Oh, well, that's happening. Get here. And then actually... Oh, snap. I just realized. There could be an enemy around that I might be worried about. Is it around... No. So one of the things that made... Oh, cool, they're on guard duty. One of the things that made this area in Pikmin 1 special was that it was home to a crazy amount of bull bears. And bull bears are essentially more difficult versions of the spotty bull borb. Much more difficult. Now, in this game, they're a little bit different. In instead, of, uh, instead of sleeping, just like the the spotty bulb orbs, they actually... Oh, well that's... That's problematic. Uh, you guys, I didn't mean to, for that to happen. You guys go in there. And... There. Wait, why did I take out reds? I don't need reds, I need... that. <laughs> I need blue Pikmin. <laughs> Get back in there. But in this game, the bull bears will actually wander around the map. And if there are any dwarf bull bears that they come across on their way, they will essentially recruit them or take them under their wing. It's kind of a, a mother-cub relationship. And so they will follow each other around, and if you have any Pikmin anywhere in the map and you're not watching them, you could suddenly see that my numbers are dwindling and not know why. And by the time I realize why, they've already devoured 30 Pikmin. So, that's that's pretty dangerous, and I need to keep on the lookout for them. Now, I do have a special strategy for handling bull bears, but I will get I will cover that once I actually 
have bull bears to handle. All right, so th back here there is a treasure. I don't know why I threw the blue Pikmin up here, but it actually ended up working out. It's kind of convenient. But oh, there's a there's a skitter leaf which I eh, I don't really care about. I don't, need, I don't need to kill him. But there's a buried treasure here, and that buried treasure is probably a tuber, since all of them are, seem to be tubers. Yep, it's an onion. Yeah, it's an actual onion. All right, so we'll put blue Pikmin on this, and then I'll check back in with Olimar. 20 blues, okay. All right, and then I'll throw the whites up there, and then I can use the rest to, wait, wh which way is this going to go? Oh, it's going that way, okay. Let's take care of the water dumples that are in the way. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Nope. Still lost two. That's actually fine. I'm okay with losing Pikmin. This is not a zero death run. I just don't want to have negative growth in a day. Okay, one more. And then we can put five on this water dumple. Oh, no, I need one. So one on that, I guess. And the rest, they will carry Louie back to the base. Okay, that should be fine. I don't think the Wallywogs can actually kill the Pikmin on that. It's moving too fast. Let's hope. Or did I already kill the Wall? I think I already killed the Wallywogs. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're getting some berries. Hopefully we can start getting some sprays. In fact, Olimar, you can throw some Pikmin there, but the rest actually I'm going to have them take you back because you need to get some more yellows, so I'll do that. All right, Louie, you get the blue Pikmin and start plucking these. I'll have some buddies, which I always like to call them as a child. All right, things are working, are moving pretty smoothly. We're almost halfway through the day. Uh, let's see, I want to get... I want to give... Molly over to the yellows because they they need numbers and at this point I think that Olimar and Louie will switch roles here you get over here the yellows will go to Louie and he will head back over to the the spider wart and the blues will go to Olimar once they they uh, actually make their way over to the base all right, things are working pretty smoothly. It's nice to be playing Pikmin again, also. This is the first episode I'm recording since recording episode... Up to ev episode 7 of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Why are you guys not doing this? Here, some of you on this. And we get a treasure. But yeah, this is the first episode I'm recording since... Ep uh, recording episode 7 of Breath of the Wild. So, it's great to be back in the saddle. Speaking of saddles, poor licorice. He, his fate was not was not happy. Onion? Ha! <laughs> That's amazing. That's the best name. Onion Replica. Because that's that's so good. Because this is an actual onion, but this is the second one they're seeing because they're used to the Pikmin onions, and so they call it a replica. That's that's the best name yet, actually, I think. Okay. So you guys can go work on that. I don't think I'll need 40, so let's throw a few more onto that. And then, go get that treasure that I was talking about. Alright. But also, with the, the new Let's Play, I foreshadowed it in an earlier episode of Pikmin 2, back when I first got the idea to play the game. I, I foreshadowed it in the hopes that I was going to do it. If I wasn't going to do the Let's Play, then I was going to use that foreshadowing just to release an ABO of something. Of like, I was actually going to play Skyward Sword for an ABO if the whole Breath of the Wild Let's Play didn't work out, but it did. Oh come on! You can you can do this. Uh, get up there. Why why did it work the first time? And it's not working now. What am I missing? There, finally got him. Is that enough? Oh, I whistled some back, too. Ah. Running throw? There. Running throws will have to do it. 
Running throw. That didn't work. Running throw. Almost overshot it. Um, dum, dum. Finally. <laughs> that took way too long. Ah. Uh. All right. Get on the spider warp. And then, Olimar, you are ready. It is your time. Let's go grab those white Pikmin and go get dig up that last treasure. And then my, my day is effectively done. Okay, but back to Breath of the Wild. Um... One of the things that I was a bit apprehensive about was the end slates, because for Pikmin 2, the end slates are a new thing. I mean, I've never done this kind of end slate before, and so I was a bit worried about how it was going to play out. And for Breath of the Wild, I would be doing cross end slates, and actually it's it's gone really well. I, I like how it looks. It's definitely a, a big step up for the channel. Where is it? And they look great. Is it... No, white Pikmin. Just kind of spread them around. This is the wrong way. Oh, it's not. It's not on the border. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. We're going to have to defeat this guy first. Okay, Wallywog, come at me. I have a strategy this time. Okay. Throw five. Whistle him off. Throw five. These are whites, which is not uh, not conducive. Did that work? Uh, oh, barely. Okay, jump one more time. This is working out much, much better. Is it dead? Yes, it is. And I lost no Pikmin. All right. So it's getting towards the end of the day. Whoa, a little bit of lag. I'm always worried when I see a, a lag spike. Okay, back to what I was talking about again. The uh, the new end slate, with with how that's that's working out. Uh, it's actually really great. If I can share some background, behind the scenes stuff with you guys, um, one of the one of the things that makes it so nice is that uh, for new viewers who may be coming just for Breath of the Wild, they they don't know that I'm doing Pikmin 2, they get to see that I'm actually let's playing Pikmin 2, and so it, it connects them with other series on the channel. And then for the viewer that's been around a while, they may not know that I started Breath of the Wild, they may be a little bit out of the loop. Nice. They be, may be a little bit out of the loop, and so they see that, I, uh, that oh, he's playing Breath of the Wild. It just, it works out so well, and it looks so good. It's, and it's also a lot easier to do, surprisingly, than, than the other, than the old end slate. Let's see, we can put some Pikmin onto this, oh, onto the treasure, okay. And we have just enough. I'm glad I caught that. Don't want to be losing that many Pikmin. Actually, uh, let's whistle... Whistle, whistle two off and use them to carry Olimar back. All right, Louie can start. Really, guys? Really? Uh, is this actually stuck? That'd be that'd be kind of hilarious. No, it's not. It's fine. Oh, it may be. No, it may fall through the world. I don't know. I don't know how the game's gonna handle this. Oh, it's fine. All right. Well, let's get these, let's get the rest of the Pikmin on another, actually, how far are we on sprays? This'll, this'll do it, so we'll get them on that, and the rest on here. Nice! Alright, make sure there are no strays. There are no sp strays, and since there are no strays, spray, strays, let's put them on the sprays, that's hard to say. Also, what is this? This is a... Uh, it's like the, the thing from Super or uh, Super Mario Sunshine. There's a secret world inside that conch shell. If it's actually a conch shell. There's also some Mother of Pearl inside, which is neat. Or coconut. It actually looks a little bit more like coconut. Fortified Delicacy. Okay. This is the first treasure that I've, I remember that actually could be worth something. I, I mean, it's pretty. Maybe not worth a lot of money, but it's worth, it's still valuable. All right, what are our, our numbers looking like? They're, I think they're fine. Uh, they're all carrying stuff back. Let's see if I can go kill some enemies and then end this day off with some additional numbers. Can I kill the water dumples? 
Come on. Come here. Come on. Get over here. They're having a bit of trouble with the hill. Get this flasic jar. Big taste! Big crunch! Refrigerate after opening. Do not purchase if safety button is, is up. Gherkin gate. Come on. Uh. Um, you. You. Uh. Well, I guess we lost out on our... I, I kind of panicked there. And, uh... And did that because I was worried about losing white. Did we lose a white? No, we, uh, we're still fine. But I got my spray back, which I guess is good. And I got some Pikmin flower. Alright, so... These are all the berries I need. Olimar. Go put them on these. Come on, put them on these. Alright, this should be good. Uh, actually, no, they won't be able to make it back. Alright. This is... This was a productive day. I think I got all of my Pikmin above 100. Leaving that Wallywog out there. Whatever. And we have some more sprays. Okay, just make sure one more time that there are no strays around. There are none free. Alright. That's a good day. We'll leave those whisker pillars with their berries and go back to base. It was actually nice taking a, a day off from caves. It's it reinforces to me why I like this game so much. I mean, when I'm just grinding Pikmin, there's just kind of a magical feel to it. You can sit around with friends or what have you, or on your own, eat some food. It's, it's like a comfort food game, you know? You can just kind of lounge around, gather Pikmin, and just have a, a good time, a relaxing time. It's a good change of pace. And I think for tomorrow, we may go to... We may go to the Valley of Repose, mainly because I didn't see the bull bear today. And there's another thing that I didn't encounter that drastically changes the feel of the Perplexing Pool. And they're not around yet, so I would like to catch Perplexing Pool in much of its... Well, while it's still ma mainly incomplete, to be able to truly enjoy that. I didn't grow my reds, but that's fine. And now we have 416 Pikmin. And this is this is good growth. How many did we lose to battle today? Four. That's that's fine. Hello. I am still on on the lamb from debt collectors. For the time being, I've decided to live under the bridge. But if they catch me, I don't know what they'll do to me. <laughs> poor poor president. He's actually on the lamb and running from not the law, but debt collectors. Poor guy. Alright, that is going to be it for today. If you enjoyed today in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make tomorrow so that you would like it. I release new days of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday. And join me next time where we will probably be going to the Valley of Repose, since I've only been there two days total. And those were the first two days, so I was still getting used to the ropes. I was learning the ropes of Pikmin 2 again. And... Yeah, we can do some exploration now that we have every kind of Pikmin. So, join me then. We may go into a cave, we may not. Who knows? You have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. No. I got him. I got him. Hey, buddy. I got a horse. Except for, like I said, that one time when he he <laughs> used instant transmission on Cell, who was self-destructing, to save all of our lives. That was a great and noble sacrifice. Let me make sure...